At Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, the Ordnance Department tests an experimental carrier for the 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. This is a quarter-ton vehicle with four-wheel drive and supports the gun on the ordnance mount. The low silhouette is a notable feature of this vehicle. gun in operation. This mount permits approximately 10 degrees of traverse and 15 degrees of elevation. Here is another experimental method of mounting the 37 millimeter gun on the same vehicle. It is the Jones type of mount in which the support for the gun is located above the rear axle. Here again, the low silhouette is to be noted. Observe the wide angle of fire provided by this mount. Another experimental vehicle which also mounts a single 37 millimeter anti-tank gun. Here once again, the low silhouette is a notable characteristic. model is given severe tryouts on the automotive test course at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds. Note the knee action of the inner bogies as this vehicle negotiates the furrowed field at low and high speeds. A loose sand road further demonstrates the vehicle's traction power. Next comes the vertical wall obstacle. And now, through the final test, the water hazard.
This is a 75 millimeter gun mounted on a standard half-track carrier. Stationary firing tests are conducted. This gun can deliver fire at the rate of 15 to 20 rounds per minute. Here we see a form of experimental incendiary bomb being tested at the Aberdeen Proving Grounds. The same type of bomb is shown on the roof of a wooden building. A portion of the incendiary chemical pours down through the ceiling to the floor below. Fort Belvoir, Virginia, the engineer board tests a new method of blowing road craters. To blow a single crater, three holes are dug in the ground with a diesel-powered earth auger. The holes are in line, five feet apart, the outer ones being seven feet deep, and the middle one five feet. Forty-pound charges of ammonium nitrate packed in canisters are placed in the outer holes and an 80-pound charge in the middle hole. Primacord used to interconnect all three charges is inserted into small tubes on each canister. An electric detonating cap is inserted in a second tube on only one of the cans, which is shown here. canisters are then lowered into the holes and covered with loose earth. All charges are then detonated simultaneously. A medium tank tries the crater. If the earth is wet and muddy, sliding will occur when the tank tries to climb out of the crater. The tank finally works its way out of the hole. light tank tries the same crater. And must be towed out. 